All right, in case you don't know, call me the intellectual, call me Don Poopa, call me Akpaku Master, call me Totori Master, call me the intellectual, call me Ginger Ginger, call me Swaga Swaga, call me King Kong with the sing song. Uh, uh. All right, you're chilling on Factory78.com. Don't touch it or you make it right now. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? I'm your girl, Kalisha J. Of course, back with another episode of Factory 78. And today, I am so excited to be joined by Afrobeats music extraordinaire. This is a living legend, though. Ah, uh, Mr. Ginger himself, Terry G, is in the house. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. still on the matter. Call me a master. Call me King Kong. Call me Swagga Swagga. And right now, listen, gentlemen, it's so exciting right now to see you and to cheer right here with Kalisha. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Kalisha. <laughs> You try to take my job, oh. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Doing good. Good, yeah. good to see you. Really. Good pleasure, yeah. Good. You know what I like about you? I'll always say I love the fact that you're always like just hyped. You're always energetic, I'm always and ready. I love. I'm always ready to hit it hard, you know. Born ready. That's what I do every day, just like pinky on the brain, trying to take over the world. <laughs> You are definitely doing that yeah, because yeah. you work so hard. By bit, you know, by God's grace, we're definitely getting there, you know. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I know that since you've been in London, you've been working hard, you've been making appearances, you know, doing stuff that we are not yet sure about because it's being kept secret. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's the secret to your 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 um how can I say your longevity in this business? Because you've been around for a while. Yeah, of course. Um, trying to keep the relevancy though and um, spreading the tentacles, which is very very important, mm -hmm. you know. And music, of course, when you've got new um, content, all you have to do is still go back to the same places you've probably been before. Mm -hmm. Try to spread the message around. So I think um. Basically, that's why I'm here, you know, mm -hmm. trying to spread the ginger message around, you know, oh, like I've got a um, couple of songs and um, I'm ready to unleash them, you know, I've done some collaborations, um, featuring Whiskey, Fino Around Town, you oh, know, a wow. uh, couple of good Afro beats, you mm -hmm. know, which I'm ready to let you guys hear and have a view and um, talk, you know, mm -hmm. let's see how it goes, you know, trust me, I never disappoint, that's it. Exactly. Now, you know, I know that you definitely, you're always working, always working hard to come up with new material to excite our viewers, you know, and fans all around the world. Do you ever feel pressured to repeat, like, past successes? Well, um, it has never occurred in my life before, yeah, because... Um, I've never been in any competition though, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm set aside, you know, I stand up because um, I own my own style of music, you know, so all I have to do is just update myself, you know, mm -hmm. I think basically that's it though, yeah, mm -hmm. I've never been in any challenge before, you know, I just do my thing, you know, I do it the way my mind says I should do it because I don't really do the regular mind, I do odd stuff, you know, mm -hmm. so I know um, amongst millions, I think I'm the only one thinking this odd, you know, so mm -hmm. uh, that's why I always see that I'm quite different. Yeah. No, but you know what, I think it's it's true, like, okay, there's this song, like, that Alamide says, my friend was telling me the, the translation that to stand out, you have to do something crazy, yeah. you know, to, to be different. Yeah, you have to really do mm. that, you know, because, um, there are a whole lot of bunch of talents, you know, and it's, it might be quite difficult for a lot of people to stand out, you know, because mm. there's um, so much of a competition in the industry, you know. So, um, but once you stand out, I'm talking of likes of um, Two Face or Fela Nicola mm -hmm. Kukuti, you know. So, um, all you have to do um, is just trying to update yourself, not trying to fight um, the challenges in the industry. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean. Because you know what? One thing that has always been like brought to my attention is the fact that I've noticed a lot of beefing going on between artists. Like, and I'm thinking, why is that happening? Is it really necessary? Like, there's enough room in the sky for all of us to fly. You know, it's no man's fault. We're all humans, mm -hmm. you know. The only thing you can do is try as much as possible to control your thoughts and mm -hmm. try and really run away from having this biased mind, you know. It... It flips into everybody's mind. The only thing is the control, you know. So, mm -hmm. which I try as much as possible to. I don't. Um, I don't feel biased. I don't look at anybody's success and compare it to mine, mm -hmm. you know. Because I, I always thank God that every day is quite different, you know. And I'm always upgrading. So, I always try to make myself better. I think that's it. You know? So, what we have to do is just make yourself better. Competition will always be, you know. Sure. But try and stand out. When you stand out, it will be more or less of the pressure. You mm -hmm. know? 
Exactly. Now, speaking of standing out, you know, we know that your musical style makes you stand out and also your production makes you stand out. You know, a lot of people might not be aware this gentleman right here to my right, which is your left, <laughs> you know, is an extraordinary music producer as well as video director, as well as artist. Do you know what I mean? I We know Terry G as an artist, but we're not really hearing Terry G producer like before. What's going on? Yeah, um, I, I had to just chill for a while, mm. you know, I do my fist and my business, my Terry G water. Mm -hmm. Thing, you know, which is doing quite well right now. But apart from that, you know, I've been through a lot of uh, ups and downs, you know. Mm. I've done a lot of free stuff, you know. I'm just one kind of a person that I believe in raw talents. Once you're good, if you don't have the financial support, I will just do what I have to do, which is the music, producing mm -hmm. and all that. I've really done that for a lot of artists, but mm -hmm. when they just get a little of that fame, they, they easily forget about mm -hmm. the fact that, man, you were really big and you are the boss before you just give them an opportunity True. so they just want to put you and them in the same spot and mm -hmm. when it comes to that part they start disrespecting you so i just had to chill a bit you know, mm -hmm. you know but um no matter how it is music is music we just have to change some set of friends and definitely the tentacle will still spread which i'm doing right now exactly that, and those are very, very wise words because, you know, especially in this industry, I found that a lot of, the, okay, not a lot, but there are certain people that really do make sure that they show respect to their elders. And one person that I will say that, you know, seems to do it publicly because we've all seen it, you know, is um, Wizkid. You know, every time he sees an elder, he greets them properly, like goes prostrate for them. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And that's probably the reason why, you know, you can do, you can associate yourself with people like him. And yeah. he's on one of your new tracks, isn't he? Of course, yeah. Um, he's dope. Uh, he's just a different being, you know. Mm. Sometimes we just portray what people want to see, not just what we do, you know. Whiskey is a cool guy, you know. Um, I just called him once and I told him I had a song. I wanted to hook up with him. Then he also told me that he also had a song he wanted to hook me up oh, wow. on, which is going to be in his album. Mm -hmm. So I was like, he should come down to the studio, which he did. He came at night, you know, with Entourage, which was quite fun. Mm -hmm. We did some couple of songs. I just love him so much, you know. Mm -hmm. um, in this life, you know, and in this industry and generally in music, the only thing that will keep you there for a long time it's your humility, no matter how much talent you've got, you know, because sometimes pride might just make people dislike uh, dislike your mm. brand, you know, and once they start disliking your brand, man, no matter how much good you are, it might not just be obvious. So respect to Two-Face, there are a lot of people that have actually shown us that really humility pays and which mm -hmm. we're just doing. So, you know, speaking of, you know, respect paying off. I have to ask you a question and I've been thinking about this for a long time, you know. Why, in your opinion, because obviously as a veteran in the music industry, you know, you see a lot of younger artists coming up. Why do people now depend on shows to generate money as opposed to sales? Because, you know, in the States, it's sales rather than shows. Why is it like that in the Nigerian music industry, yeah, do you um, think? Well, um, this is one thing that I don't really like to stress, mm. you know, because I don't want to get into some trouble you know mm -hmm. but no matter how it is you know there's so many things that has to be eradicated before music will be valuable in, in our Lagos market, you know mm. in our Nigerian market you know um, no matter how much money you spend in putting up a good sound no matter how, even if it's a good music or mm -hmm. bad music mm -hmm. you still need a platform mm -hmm. to make money off it you know but um, gradually I think it's working in Nigeria but you know pirates won't make that work you know, so no matter no matter how no matter how it is, we don't really depend on that because if you want to wait or fight for that, you go older with small thing. You know, but um, all you have to do is just keep it up. Look for another structure. Look for a means where you can use your talent to make money, which I think um, has to do with events. You know, and most of us actually organize our own events. You know, we do our concert once in a once in a year in mm -hmm. most countries, you know. So these are ways where we can just use gathering up because w once you're a star, you're a star. There's no excuse. You have to live the life. You have to do a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know. So basically, I like the fact that you said that they have to keep up, you know, with the star lifestyle. Yeah. Is that the reason why they have to keep dropping song after song after song after song yeah, after... I think, um, 
Well, what do you do? You tell anybody you're a musician. Mm. So as long as you're a musician, all you have to do is keep dropping music. You know, you don't just wait for um, the fact that you have you've got a song and you're doing well in the market. You know, don't forget this. There are a whole lot of competition out there. So as a farmer, I think you have to go to the farm every day. You know, check your crop. Even if you're not doing some bridges, you must be doing something. You know, mm -hmm. or you are investing. You know, whatever it is, though. Music is music. It's either you're going for promos, interview. You have to be doing something. You got to be on the road. Don't say you. You've gotten there and you're just chilling at home, enjoying the money. The money will finish. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that's the reason why we we try as much as possible to work hard in different structures. You know, everybody looking for new connects and all that. You know, music is quite big right now. So, it is, especially Afrobeat. Yeah, Afrobeat definitely. So with time, I think we are gonna eradicate piracy to a certain percentage. Mm. I, I don't mean. Finish, finish you. No, 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 no. <laughs> because some songs, you know, you just need to give the people a little, a little something for yeah. for free to for free, they, you know, to like appetize me, you know, them. I really don't, you know. I, most of my songs are just free, you know. Uh, most of the hits I, I've got, you know, I don't really shoot videos for them, you know, mm. because I believe in recording songs and mm -hmm. letting them out. As long as your fans are happy, you're happy. And once you get to an event, that's where you know how powerful it is to just release songs, even if you don't shoot videos, because mm -hmm. you've got. A lot of hit songs to sing you can probably spend close to an hour on stage and that's the reason why most brands will want you for their big concerts mm -hmm. and that's the reason why they want to pay you some certain amounts because you can stand the, the crowd for a particular time mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so there's some little ad, um, value which is added to the reason why most people are being paid higher than most people you know? uh, yeah. so let me ask you a question what's been your most enjoyable um show your enjoyable live show oh my enjoyable live show well i've got a lot you know um <laughs> i've got a lot i played in, i played the saxophone i remember my concert in abuja mm -hmm. my live band concert mm -hmm. was sold out mm -hmm. crazy everybody was there all my colleagues <laughs> everybody it was like my birthday you know? uh i enjoyed it and um i would still not forget um the one i did in trucks day that was at 2010 yeah, yeah. in trucks day, that was quite big massive you mm -hmm. know uh yeah. It's just a crazy world, you know. There's so much. There's so much in me that's about to be seen, you know. Which definitely this year mm -hmm. we're bombing the live, you know, mm -hmm. because music will still end with live band, you know. So if you're not mm -hmm. good, if you're not good at that, you better start working hard because <laughs> it will get to a time, no matter how much the engineer mixes and add effects to your songs. Mm -hmm. Once you get on stage, man, you know that, yes, boss, there are some people you got to give it to, man. <laughs> you know, we're just waiting for that time because music is for life. So sure. you that you're doing music right now because of the money, don't forget, man, it's for life. So don't be surprised if you see some people drop out, you know. Mm. It's just like a secondary school. It's a school thing, you know. But we're there, mm -hmm. man. Speaking of music and, you know, you have so much experience in the music industry. Can I ask you yet another question? Because you seem to be giving me like, and I'm getting so much wisdom just sitting next to you. I'm, it's rubbing off on me. You mean? <laughs> it's just your whole aura that's rubbing off on me. Why is it that, and I love Afrobeat artists, yeah? I love every single one of you because I've interviewed most of you. So no vex with this next question, yeah? But okay, you see the recent controversy with like um, Drake and Meek Mill where Meek Mill called out Drake for using, like, ghostwriters, yeah? And because basically, you know, it's kind of thing like, oh, you don't do your own songs, yeah, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. How many Nigerian artists do you feel write all of their material? Their own material? Right. Well, um, of course, I can't say because <laughs> I probably wasn't in the studio, you know, when it was... You know now. You know. No, 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 no. Well, I don't know, you know, and which is not a crime, you know, if somebody writes for you. Mm -hmm. But the fact is admitting that somebody wrote a song for you, you know. But um, nevertheless, you know, time will tell. That's just what I have to say. Mm -hmm. Because um, a writer can write all the songs for you. You might just have an issue with him one day. Or probably you just want to believe that, yes, I can do it. I've already there, which you now see that you start flopping because mm -hmm. you really want to do it yourself. So... I can't really say much about that <laughs> sect. <laughs> I, I think you're being very diplomatic. <laughs> you're being very, very diplomatic. <laughs> I mean, but that, that's wisdom. And yeah. that's ver it's good to be diplomatic sometimes. Yeah. I mean, but it's also good to, you know, give the people what they like. And you always do that. You always deliver. Yeah. What's your songwriting process like? 
Because I know that you like you're just full of freestyles. You mean? <laughs> I mean, I I had the pleasure of interviewing. When was it? On the, over the weekend, yeah. and you dropped one sick freestyle, just just randomly. What's your? How do you create music? Well, um, you personally? Well, um, not be too Desha. You know, uh, my environment inspires me, mm. so um, I will never run out of words because um, even my situation can pop up a lot of things in my brain, you know, as long as I've got a beat that my mind accepts, mm -hmm. you know, and coming to add to the fact that I'm a producer, so I wouldn't like to voice on a song which my mood doesn't work with. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, man, sitting right here and seeing everything here and I hear a beat, I think I can drop like how many lines, you know? Hey. So it's just style and you know, it's a culture, you know, just grinding and we don't stop, you know? Mm -hmm. Freestyle and like half beats, if you chop on, like say if you rap beats, you know? Ah. So there are many, many ways you can, yeah, you know, split it out, you know? So I just feel um, most musicians in Nigeria and probably all over the world are quite scared of doing freestyles because mm -hmm. um, they are scared of making mistakes, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was never, 100% perfect and I will never be perfect you know but the fact is that every day I grow because I just want to do things off the paper and biro I just want to I want to feel like a genius and every day I just kind of build it and build it so maybe one day they start shaking but um, I think freestyle is just having the courage that once I make mistake uh, I can still yeah, yeah I can do it yeah <laughs> so that's it that's great. I remember one time I tried to to freestyle and it was horrible. I mean, like as in like I tried to pretend I was a rapper and yeah, it, it just didn't work. <laughs> you anyhow, you know, you can wrap the paper, hold it up, go to the back here, throw it in the waist bin, you know, and just <laughs> that's freestyle, you know. You know, with time you just gonna perfect it, you know. Can I give you a beat? Can you, are you feeling inspired to drop a freestyle? If I if I, I give you a beat, I don't feel the part of dropping a freestyle. I just hear uh -huh. it and drop on it. You know, I'm not that person that would be like, yeah, 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 give me a beat, give me a beat. I listen to the beat. If the beat says I should do something, I'll just do whatever I want to do on it. You know? I'm not good at beatboxing, so I think my beat would be rubbish. <laughs> it depends though. If it's rubbish, I'll just do a rubbish freestyle on it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, me, let me try. Let me try. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. Right. <clears throat> and I'll use this as a drum if mm -hmm. I can. Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure you're a good producer though. Uh, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Oh, wait, let me let me rub your shoulder to see if the musician, okay. the producer will rub off on me. So uh. <clears throat> <laughs> it's the beats. See the beats, see the beats, she they play. That's the beats, you know, be like it beats. That's the beats, you be like it rubbish, but it's still at the Nakam, the make and the sweets. This is Natalie G and Kalisha. See us with the Nakam, the ginger. With the Nak, the Akpako, with the go, with the Gaga, the Gaga. The... Oh, yeah, somebody go knock you, Akpako. See us, she did knock you, Akpako. Papa, the party, po, Akpako. <laughs> lele, lele, lele. <laughs> but we made something out of it, though. Yes, we did. And you know what? I thank you for even at least trying with me because yeah, some yeah. other people would be like, Don't be scared. Just try they would be like, girl, stop you need me. to stop it. Yeah. So what can people expect from you from the rest of 2015? Um, just releasing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, this is um, the copy of the CD. Tatori. is the title of the single, Tatori. And um, there's another one um, titled Nak Nakam. I featured um, Whiskey, Fino, and Ron Town. Mm -hmm. And um, there's another one called Ferrari. Very lovely songs, you know. Mm -hmm. I think um, I'm very sure you're going to love it. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to love it as well. But for our viewers, what does Totori even mean? Yeah, Totori means tickle. Yeah, in case you don't know, tickle means just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really tickling. <laughs> That's really what it means, you know? I'm so tickled. <laughs> Is that tickle in a good way or tickle in a. Yeah, they can never be tickled in a bad way, you know? <laughs> even even what you're thinking is still not a bad thing, you know? Um, tickle somebody, make somebody happy, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's and positive, you know? What I would say is when you people look back, yeah, in about 50 years or so, what do you want them to think of when they think of Terry G? Well, um... Three words. Three just three. Words. Yeah. The craziest musician. The most intellectual. The most inspirational. Mm -hmm. And the most impactful. Don't forget. Uh, there's more than three words, though. Don't, don't forget. I started this nonsense which I said was going to make sense. Mm. 
and now everybody's doing nonsense, which is Afro music right now. Afro beat. Mm -hmm. Check it out, man. This one are nonsense. We're gonna make sense. Now everybody's singing. Now what is I don't want to mention. Oh no, 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 no. I don't go there. Mm -hmm. But trust me, um, I've done a lot in this industry, mm -hmm. you know. Um I remember when I was criticized mm -hmm. by everybody, you know, like what was this guy singing, you know? I was just trying to let people know that, you know, music is um music is art. Mm -hmm. You know. Music is like the air. You can't stop it, you know. And um, I was just in my own world, my own zone, and um, I had nobody to say, yeah, this is it, this is it. Mm -hmm. But along the line, I just got this courage, and I said, yes, I want to, I want to be, I want to be different, you know, which I did. And right now, it's paying off, and it's paying off for almost everybody right now. So I want to thank God for that, which nobody can say no to that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any last words for the fans? Let me give you the mic. All right. And to my fans out there, man, for people supporting my music, for you all believing in me, you know, um, I know it's not quite easy, man. You guys do argue a lot, trying to convince people about me for the fact that Terry is not really crazy, but it only acts crazy. But still on the matter, thank you for trusting me that I will keep giving you that same swag, that same crazy style that really turns you up, you know, whenever you want to be happy. And um, this is my new single titled Totori. Yeah, lovely songs like three track in it, and um, I'm gonna be shooting a couple of videos very soon. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for believing in the ginger, and I'll keep giving you the swag. I do. I ain't got my belly yet. Naka.